In this short video, I'll explain how to organize discussion groups for debaters about documentary films related to the criminal justice reform topic. My goal is to offer some advice about how to successfully host documentary discussion groups. I'll also provide four plug-and-play lesson plans to get you started. Whether you're a teacher, coach, summer institute instructor, or student, I hope this video will help you successfully organize and host meaningful group discussions of documentary films related to the criminal justice reform topic. If you haven't already done so, I suggest that you pause this video, watch six documentary films debaters should watch for the criminal justice reform topic, and then resume the rest of this video. It explains why documentary films are valuable and how to approach them critically, and it provides a list of six documentaries about the criminal justice topic that I think students should watch. The four lesson plans provided in this video are based on four of those films. In an attempt to find new ways to connect with students during remote school this spring, I organized something I called the Criminal Injustice Cultural Studies Discussion Group. The purpose of the group was, and is, it's ongoing and will likely continue in the fall, to deepen students' and my own understanding of the criminal justice reform topic by studying and discussing books, songs, films, and TV shows. It's like a book club, but not exclusively books. The way the group works is that I assign something to study and discuss, and students decide whether to opt in to that particular discussion. Because each discussion is optional, students can join the ones they're interested in and sit out the ones they're not. We started the group in late April and will have soon completed nine discussions in the first two months of its existence. Topics have included two novels, Jasmine Ward's Sing Unburied Sing and Steph Cha's Your House Will Pay, a playlist of hip-hop songs based on a law review article about hip-hop and the criminal justice system, the HBO miniseries The Night Of, and five documentary films, The Thin Blue Line, The Central Park Five, Thirteenth, The Prison in Twelve Landscapes, and The Force. Discussions are scheduled for a particular time and conducted via Zoom. We've generally held one or two per week. Participation in our discussions has varied from around four to 12 people, including coaches, current students, and a few alums. For each discussion topic, I've sent students a document with some notes, optional supplemental materials, and some discussion questions to think about as they prepare. Here's an example. This is the document from our discussion of the thin blue line. As you can see, it includes an explanation of the discussion and what is expected of participants, in this case, watching the film and reading an article. It also includes a character list for easy reference during the discussion, a set of suggested supplementary materials, these are optional, but participants are encouraged to review them if they can, and a set of discussion questions to guide the conversation. We don't necessarily stick to these questions, but they've proven helpful in getting the conversation started and in allowing participants to enter the discussion having thought about some of the things that we want to go over. I've enjoyed organizing and participating in these discussion groups, and I thought it would be helpful to try to assist others who might want to put together similar discussions for their own teams or summer institute labs or friend groups. To that end, I've shared four lesson plans for discussion groups about criminal justice reform-related documentary films. The four films that are included are The Thin Blue Line, The Central Park Five, Thirteenth, and The Prison in Twelve Landscapes. I'll link to the lesson plan documents below. They're yours to use. Feel free to modify them as needed, but they're designed to be as plug-and-play as possible. Each of the lesson plan documents includes a few logistical suggestions. Based on my experience, there are a few things that you can do to make these discussions better. First, assign at least one article along with the film and encourage participants to review the optional supplemental materials. Our discussions have been much better when participants had read more to prepare for them. Second, designate someone to be the moderator. This person guides the discussion and manages Zoom traffic so that people don't talk over one another and so that everyone's perspectives can be heard. Finally, and related to moderation, limit the size of the discussion group to 10 or fewer students. Once you have more than 10 participants, it becomes very difficult to moderate, and the quality of the conversation tends to decline. If you have more than 10 people interested in participating, consider dividing into multiple smaller groups. We've also limited our discussions to an hour. While we've always had some things we didn't quite get to, that's been a pretty successful way to stay focused and to keep the conversation from dragging. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you set up your own discussion groups for these criminal justice reform-related documentary films. If you do give it a try, please let me know how it went by posting a comment or sending me an email. Thanks for watching. Good luck.